Hey, good afternoon guys. This is Henry over here at Cliff Jones RV and Tractor in Sealy, Texas. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here. Uh, it's the 20th of June. Really pretty day. It's got a little cloud in the sky. It's not too hot today as it has been down here in Texas. Uh, we are about 45 minutes from downtown Houston on the way to San Antonio. We're at exit 720 in Sealy, Texas off Interstate 10. And here's Interstate 10 here. Everybody's moving through. That way's to San Antonio. The other way's going back east, to, back to Houston, to Katy area. All right, so the reason for my video, uh, this one is the Great Wolf Limited. This was the 26 DJSE. This unit can sleep up to about eight people uh, if needed. It's got the double bunks in here. Let me tell you a little bit about this unit. It's only about 4,500 pounds, uh, a little over 4,500 pounds. It has an electric front jack to bring it on and off your vehicle. And you do have an LED light right under here. So when you are working out here at night, you, uh, whenever you are hooking up, bringing this up and down, you can. Okay? Uh, so that'll be a 2 and 5 16 ball on here. Uh, if you ever lose power for whatever reason, you do have a manual way of doing that right in here. We will give you the tool to do that. That's just in case if you ever lose power. Okay? Uh, here it would be your two propane tanks, which we will fill up before you before you take possession And we will put a deep cycle marine battery on here right now I do have a jump box on here because I do have the lights lit up for this quick video. All right uh, With the tied in with the propane tanks you do have a quick connect for a gas grill right there So you can cook on the outside uh, if needed It is solar power prepped So if you ever get off grid the dry camping you can hook a solar panel up to it and they look kind of like that all it is is like a little suitcase that opens up. It trickle charges the battery so you can get the lights going. All right, comes with a 30 amp service cord, about 25 foot long, and there that is. This right here will for your front, uh, for your front, um, uh, for your front, bring it your jack, bring it on and off your vehicle just in case you ever lose power. And then that would be for your stabilizing jacks on all four corners to keep it from rocking. And those are right there. What you do with the trick, trick of the trade on that is get you a 20 volt drill with a three quarter inch socket, it goes down a lot quicker. So, this would be a beer pass through storage underneath your bed. On the other side is your hot water heater, and that is a six gallon hot water heater. Walk around to the back side real quick. Okay, here is your hot water heater here. It runs off of propane or electricity. And this is one of the things that the, the, the technician will go over with you when you are doing your walk around with him. Before you sign any paperwork, this is where you're going to be. He's going to explain to you everything. This can run off of propane or electricity. All you got to do is flip that little switch. Let me see my finger in here. And that goes from propane to electricity, either or. So if you're dry camping or on a power source. All right. You have emergency windows right here just in case you need to get out. All the windows do open up. Okay. Here is your cable inlet, which feeds through the rest of the unit. Your exhaust for your furnace. This is tandem axle. These are tire pressure indicators and whenever they get low, that lets you know whenever they, whenever it gets low, it turns red, lets you know to put air in there. This is where your 30 amp service cord will hook into to your power source for your power source. Put you a 5,000 watt generator. This would run this whole unit perfectly. We're talking about air conditioning and the microwave. This would be the back side of the refrigerator so you can access it and there's a plug in there. You have an exterior shower out here that is on hot and cold. It is on a wand. Uh, so you can take a shower, rinse off on the outside. And let me open that up for you real quick. So you can actually see this. Okay. And this is what I mean. So if you need to rinse off the kids or the dogs or the boots, you can do that from out here. It is hot and cold. And look how long this thing is. So you can actually, you know, pin it up so you need to rinse off. That's if you need to do that. I will put that back in as soon as I get a free hand. And go ahead and do it now. Excuse me. That's pretty simple. Stick back in. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys, so please be patient with me. I got this. There we go. I did it. All right, and that folds away. I'll lock that in a second. Okay, you got your city water connection, so if you're hooked up to a power source, you do not have to have any uh, pump or anything. Actually, it'll feed through the rest of the unit. And uh, all you gotta do is just turn on your water because the pressure will push through. For your fresh water connection, this would be filling up your fresh water tank. Because it has three tanks on here. You have a fresh water, 
your gray water, which is your sink and your shower, and then you have your um, your black water, which is your toilet tank. Okay. Uh, with that one, you will have to have your pump your pump on, and the electrician and, and our technician will show you all about that whenever uh, you do your walk around. Another thing that I really like, it has a black tank flush. Back in the days to clean out your toilet tank is the black tank. You used to have to stick a water hose down the toilet with a wand or, you know, a water hose to try to clean it out. Now you just hook your water, your water hose up here and it washes everything from the inside out. And then you have a night light when you're out here working in the evening time. Okay, for your tanks, it is a gray water and a black water and that's from right here. When you are dumping these, you'll, dump, you'll pull the black first and then you'll use the gray to wash out the inside. And then you'll hook up your water hose right here and it washes it all out okay in the back you do have a cargo rack back here so you can put a generator luggage or cooler or even make it into a table i had one gentleman tell me henry that's where i scale my fish at you know it makes it into a table i was like okay sir whatever you got to do all right it is an observation or backup camera prepped it is all wireless so you can hook up there so you can see your blind spots before you make those lane changes okay on this side this would be underneath the bunk area, so you can't see on the inside. Hey guys, it's me. All right, so you can actually see in here, there's a lot more storage. Okay, close that up. Okay, we do have a big uh, view of window right here. It's got the privacy curtain that's almost down, the privacy shade. All right, you got tandem axles, of course. You got your marine grade speakers here that light up blue, they look cool at night. You can already see them on right here. So they'll, they'll be out here in the rain, so they'll be okay. That's what they're made for. But because your, your radio does transfer to the speakers on the outside, you have one there and then one there. Okay. And then you have plugs on the outside and then jacks because you can bring your TV on the outside. We will give you the bracket for your flat screen TV. All right. And if you look underneath the awning, you'll see a pretty blue LED light. Can you see it under there? It looks, it looks good at night. So whenever you are uh, out here in the evening time, you'll actually be able to see, but it looks really cool. Okay? All right, these are down the upgraded aluminum steps. I actually fold up on the inside, uh, so you keep them out of the weather. But one thing about these feet on here, you can adjust them for the unlevelness of the ground. So you, if you'll notice, you're not gonna be bouncing as you're walking in. So say one of the girls are asleep or one of the kids asleep, you're not gonna be waking them up. All right? Do have a safety bar here. And then you have your friction hinge entry door. It's pretty windy out here right now. You can see the flags going. All right, so you can see it'll stand up to about 15 to 20 miles an hour winds. You don't have to worry about those little plastic uh, clips back here actually holding these on that do break off often, so you don't have to worry about that. It has a screen door on the, sc on the, on the really cool days. Okay, it's pretty cool. You do have a kick plate at the bottom so nobody breaks out the screen. The doors are rounded. So you won't be tearing up your awning. All right. Comes with the first rear roadside assistance for free. Up to one year after date of purchase. Okay. All right. Take a step on the inside to see your new RV. All right. As soon as you come in, this is where you can turn on all your lights. This is where you control your awning. This awning will come out at about eight to nine feet. It's pretty cool when you're sitting out there underneath the weather. Uh, so everything's all dry. Okay. The radio is on right now. Actually, it transfers to the speakers on the outside. And take a listen. Okay. Turn it down. And it is Bluetooth capable from your smartphone, so you can listen to your own music. It is Bluetooth. Okay. This would be the control for your air conditioning and your heat. So all you got to do is if some if their kids are sleeping, all you got to do is touch it and it lights up blue. You see that? So you're not doing that analog one. It's actually digital now, so you will not be waking anybody up. Shh. All right. Okay. Let me turn around to the bedroom area. This is the master bedroom here. Queen size bed. You have overhead storage. Uh, plugs on both sides. And you have wardrobe hanging there, wardrobe hanging there. You got some there, and then you have some more on the other side, and then you have for the night readers. And let me show you something. These are LED lights. They've been on for about 10 minutes now. They don't get warm. They last a long time in longevity instead of those incandescent bulbs burning out. And you can turn them off individually just like that. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, storage underneath your bed. 
can access uh, access that also so you can put more uh, more blankets or towels whatever else you have to do privacy shades are on all the windows so the bears will not see you in the evening time pretty simple to bring them up and down all right and your couch here's your couch let me not forget about your privacy curtain that comes across for the master bedroom comes across okay uh, and you got your cup you got your cup holders on your couch but if you want to make this into a bed it's pretty simple fold that back up I'm actually gonna do this with one hand but I actually need two hands to put it back up but it's pretty simple with one hand just grab it and you see how it flips down okay so somebody else can sleep there okay more privacy shades check your monitor panel is right here so you can check all your, uh, your your black tank gray tank and your fresh tank when you need to fill it up or when to dump the other ones or even your battery when you need to charge it this would be your heater pump and this would be your pump you know to hot water for your heat and then for your, for your hot water heater excuse me okay you have lots of storage to put whatever else you might need and over here you got more storage with a glass on here it looks pretty cool okay this is your kitchen area you got your microwave it is residential because you can do popcorn it takes 900 watts to do popcorn so uh, you don't have to adjust the temperatures as you do with other brands you have an exhaust fan here that'll exhaust out so when you are cooking bacon in the middle of the morning you're not smelling like bacon all day it's actually exhausting exhaust exhausting out and you have a light also Okay. This folds back into a backsplash, or you can actually use it for a cooktop. I mean, not a cooktop, but actually uh, for a counter space when you're doing some kind of more work. But this folds back into a backsplash. You got three burners on here. They use three instead of four because you don't have to adjust. Excuse me. Let me turn off the radio so you can hear me. I apologize about that. Okay, you do have three burners on here. As they don't, they use three instead of four because you don't have to buy. You know, it'd be too small. You don't have to buy extra pots. You can actually bring the ones from the house. Okay. Another thing that I like about this new oven, this will actually light up. Everything is blue. Looks pretty cool. And this will actually spark up the oven instead of not just a, it'll actually spark up the oven. So you don't have to fill it with propane and stick a lighter in here to try to light the furnace, light it on it. Okay. More drawers here. And these are the brackets that I'll give you for your flat screen TV. So you can take it on the outside. And they fit right in there so you can take this and put your flat screen on it okay and these are on roller bearings so it's pretty easy just like your home and this is real wood not the particle okay your stainless steel sink what I like about these they are squared off you have lots of room in here it is a uh, stainless steel restaurant great easy to keep clean to keep the germs down all right and then you got more counter space more storage underneath all right, for your dinette, you know, seat up to four people. This also makes into a bed. Just pick up the top, drop the pipes down, and it sets right here on these ledges right here. Okay, and then you take the cushions and you push them to the middle, so it makes another bed. I'm six foot two. I could not sleep on there. I would be in the fetal position. But that's the way I sleep anyway. So anyway, trying to be funny about it, guys. Uh, but you can sleep somebody else. So you can sleep two, four, five, six, seven, eight people in here all right uh privacy shades this is where you jack for your flat screen tv you got some more jacks there these are the double bunks i do have a privacy curtain that comes across here and then you have another one for the smaller one that would come up to right here but you have lots of room and you are going to have air conditioning up here all right and they do have their own lights down here underneath okay uh, I had some people purchase this unit just to remove the bunks because it's a little bit more extra room so they can make that to more storage like, you know, wardrobe, hanging up clothes or uh, dressers, but um, after their kids were gone, okay, so they continue to use the space wisely and you can't access it from the outside. Okay, uh, there is your breaker box, so if you ever flip a breaker, all you gotta do is flip it back. Right there is your carbon monoxide propane detector if there was ever a leak. What that does is you can uh, just, um, uh, you can actually, it, gases are heavy, they go to the ground, so what it'll do is it'll send an, an alarm, hey, time to get out so you can get to get, get whatever the problem is fixed. Okay, so, a cubic foot refrigerator on here, pretty easy of it, this would be your freezer part. Okay, and down below is your refrigerator. 
So you have lots of space for whatever else you might need. One thing about the refrigerator, it runs off of propane or electricity. If your electricity ever goes out, uh, within five seconds the propane kicks on. Once the electricity goes back on, it will go back out again. It'll come back on. So it's pretty cool. All right, into the bathroom area. You do have a tub shower with the natural skylight up here. You get your curtain on here that folds back. You got lots of space in here, hot and cold, to conserve water. You can cut the water off when you are lathering up. You do have an exhaust fan, so when it does get hot in here or anything else, if you know what I mean. It can exhaust out. Okay. Now over here is your sink. Storage underneath. Your vanity. Open this up. Corners. You've got lots of space to put whatever else you might need. Plus GCFI plugs throughout the whole unit for safety. Alright guys. So this is the 26 DJSE. A limited package on here. It's got everything else you just might need. My name's Henry with Cliff Jones RV and Tractor in Sealy, Texas. Um, if there's any other units, we're right here off Interstate 10. Easily accessible. We've been here since 1978. And the family owned and operated. We have smaller units also. This is a 16-footer that'll sleep up to three people. Very good price starting it also. All right, guys, come out and see me in Sealy, Texas. I have anything from 16 feet all the way to 40 feet, bumper pull and fifth wheel. We do brake work plus hitch work also, and we can finance up to 20 years in most cases. So give me a call, 832-960-9806, 832-960-9806. We do have a full service department here. Uh, let me know what I can do for you guys. Thank you, guys, and y'all please like and subscribe to my channel. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.